my name is Adrena Gary, and my video lecture is on sum and difference formulas. So here are the sum and difference formulas, and in order to do these kind of problems, you're going to need your unit circle. You want to keep in mind that your cosines are the x's, and your sines are the y's, and hopefully you have your tangents written in. For example one, we have find the sine, cosine, and, and tangent of 165. So the first step is to find two degrees on the unit circle that equal 165 because 165 is not on the unit circle. So you could find two numbers that either add or subtract to get you 165. I chose 135 plus 30 degrees and that will get you this measurement that's not on the unit circle. So since I found two numbers that add, I use the, um, the formula that has adding. So I plug in my u and my v into the spots of the formula. So once you plug that all in, you go to your unit circle and you find the sine, which you keep in mind is the y, and the cosine, which you keep in mind is the x. You plug those values in for the different degree measurements. You want to remember that these are multiplying, those two and these two, and there's also an addition sign. So that makes you get the square root of 6 over 4 plus the negative square root of 2 over 4. And you want to combine that so you get the sine of 165 is equal to the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 divided by 4, or you could just flip it around because it's the same thing, and you get um, negative square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 equals 4. To continue our example one, we found the sine, now we have to find the cosine. It's basically the same thing, but you're going to use your cosine formula instead. I'm still using the same two numbers that I added before. I'm going to plug in, the, I'm going to plug in those two degrees that I have, the 135 and the 30, into the u and the v. Um, and then you find the cosine, which is x, and your um, sines, which are the y's. And then you're going to multiply these two. And make sure you don't multiply it all together because that's subtraction right there. So when you multiply these, you're going to get negative square root of 6 over 4. And then you're going to multiply these, you're going to get square root of 2 over 4. And then you want to subtract them because you have the same denominator now. And then you end up with either one of these answers because you can switch the placement of it. Okay, so, so far we've found the sine and the cosine, we still need to find the tangent. So for the tangent, we're still using 165 degrees, and I'm still using the two numbers that I found that add up to that that are in the unit circle. So I'm going to plug them in for u and v again into the formula for tangent, and make sure you choose the one that's adding because these are adding. So once we plug that all in, we get... Um, these um, tangent measurements. So you need to go to your unit circle and hopefully you have it written in um, the tangent values for 135 and 30. So um, once you find your ten tangent values on your unit circle, you want to plug them in and then um, you end up with this crazy fraction. So what you want to do is you want to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So basically what that just means is switch the sign right here and multiply it. So once you multiply by the conjugate of 5 equals negative 2 plus the square root of 3. For example 2, um, our problem is to find the sine, cosine, or tangent of the angle. So the problem it gives us is cosine 25, cosine 15, minus sine 25, sine 15. So this is what we've been doing, but it's in reverse. So basically, we need to find out what kind of problem this is. So when we plug in cosine u, cosine v, our formula, we find out that this is cosine u plus v. The way we know this is because the cosines are together and the sines are together. Whenever the cosines and the sines are together, we know that that's um, the sum and difference for cosines. So we just basically plug in our u and v. So this is our u and that's our v, u, v. So once we plug this in, it's really easy. All you have to do is add them for together. So in final cosine. example, we have simplify cosine 7 theta multiply by cosine 3 theta plus sine 7 theta multiply by sine 3 theta. Now don't let the theta scare you. It's the same problem that we did in the last example. So first thing you want to do is look at this problem and figure out which formula it is. So if you look at it, it's cosine u cosine v plus sine u sine v. So since the cosines are together and the sines are together, we know that it's cosine. And since it's adding and it's a cosine, we know that it's going to be the opposite. So we know it's cosine u minus v. So it's very simple, and you just take your u and your v, your um, 7 theta and your 3 theta, and you're going to subtract them. So you get cosine 4 theta as your answer. 